What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the most important apps in HR, the Employees app. The Employees app keeps track of all of our employees and their information from skills, experience, payroll, approvals, and so much more. Today, we'll check out all the basics, so enough chit-chat. Let's see how this works. Here we are on our Employees dashboard. From here, we can see all of our current employees. Each employee has their own card along with some pertinent information about them. So let's look at my card. We can see my job title as well as some of my contact info. But the coolest part of this is the little icon here in the upper right corner. This green dot tells me that I'm currently signed in and active in the database, AKA working. The dot icon represents the default status icon. An airplane icon means that the employee is taking time off and a house icon means that the employee is working from home. The icon color indicates their status in the database. Green indicates that they're signed into the database and currently active. Yellow means that the employee is idle or not active in the database. And gray means that they're signed into the database, but it's currently outside of their working hours. The activities icon, on the other hand, shows us if there are any activities scheduled and the corresponding color lets us know if they're overdue, due today, or due in the future. We can quickly schedule an activity with any employee by clicking that icon and proceeding to schedule an activity. For more instructions on scheduling, check out our documentation link below. We can change our view of this dashboard by clicking these different icons in the upper right hand corner, like the list view or the activity view, which is my personal favorite because it's super clear. Okay, now that we've explored the dashboard, let's check out our configuration menu. From here, we'll click on configuration and then down to settings. And this is where we decide what information is visible on the dashboard that we just saw. I've enabled the two options for the presence display, which is what makes those colored icons appear. You might have noticed the advanced present control section. Don't worry though, we'll go in depth with another tutorial about that information. Also enabled is the remote work option, which you guessed it, is what makes that tiny house icon appear when an employee is working from home. Next, we can see what the default working hours are. If we click the drop down menu, as you can see, we have a few different options but let's go ahead and stick with the standard 40 hour a week one. And the last thing we'll need to enable in today's tutorial is the employee editing option. This allows employees to update their own information. This way, if they move, they can update their address themselves instead of letting HR know and having them do it. And like always, don't forget to click save if you've made any changes. Okay, now let's check out our work locations by going to configuration and then work locations. As you can see, I have some pre-configured already, but we just opened a new building, so let's add that now. To do that, I'll click the new button in the upper left-hand corner, and within the work location field, I'm gonna name this location headquarters. Then let's go ahead and add the address Wonderland. Yep, that's where we bought it. If we click create and edit, through this internal link button, we can specify the exact work address for this. As you can see, this is set to 123 Wonderland Ave in New York. And we can also go ahead and choose a cover image for this location. Within this cover image, we have a building, which is the perfect option for this instance. Now, when we go back to the work locations page, we can see our new location added to our list. Okay, now that we've toured the main app dashboard and set up some configurations, let's see how we can quickly add a new employee. For that, we're gonna click on employees and employees once again. And then Brenda Jones was just hired as a sales associate. So to add her, we'll just click new in the upper left-hand corner and a blank employee form loads. The only required information is her name, but we'll add a few other things. Don't worry though, there's a whole other tutorial that shows all these different fields and what they do. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's just conf configure a few important fields. And we'll start by entering her name, which is Brenda Jones. And we'll also select the department, which will be the sales department. You'll notice when we select the department, Odoo automatically fills in the manager and coach. Next, we'll add her job position, which is sales associate. And look how the job title field at the top automatically changes to match. 
Welcome to the team, Brenda. Lunch is on me today. And that's it. You just learned about the employee's dashboard and some basic configurations and how to quickly add a new employee. Tune into other tutorials where we'll dive deeper into the employee form, learn about onboarding and offboarding, certifications, badges, and so much more. Till next time, party on.